I have to hand it to Techno. They have been on a mission to make their smartphones stand out with great design. A departure from the plain and boring glass sandwich slabs that we're now used to. They really don't want you to put a case on this smartphone. And if you really must, I am very sure they will include a transparent one with the Camon 20. Remember the Camon 19 Pro Mondrian edition with its color changing back? The Camon 20 has a more geometric design and they're calling it the Camon Puzzle Deconstructionist design. It's a stunning pattern finished with frosted glass that does a good job with fingerprints. Oh, and it stands up straight on a flat surface which makes it a lot easier to film. The hardware is decent, a Full HD OLED display up front, a 32 megapixel selfie camera, a bright quad LED ring flash on the rear with a 64 megapixel primary camera and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. It's also got stereo speakers and a selfie flash and one very hard to find feature in today's smartphones, a headphone jack. Hardware aside, they did put some work in their software and UI, like they always do. So, here is a list of some very exciting features, with some flirting along the line of being a gimmick, but I will let you decide. Right on the lock screen is a collection of shortcut widgets that you can access by swiping in from the left edge of the screen. You get access to music playback toggles, FM radio toggles, a countdown timer, a voice recorder, notes, and a calculator. As far as I can tell, I cannot find a way of customizing this, but some of these widgets are indeed the ones you would frequently use. Theft alert is a setting in the phone made for people who charge their devices in public areas. It will sound an alarm if the phone is removed from a charger and can only be deactivated by unlocking the smartphone via a lock screen pattern, password or fingerprint. Plugging the phone back in on the charger won't stop the alarm, if you are wondering. Emergency is a feature that sends a message to a selected contact in the event that your battery is low or if the power key SOS is triggered. In both instances, you're able to customize what this message says as well as add your current location to the message, which can also do a lot of help if you find yourself in an unfamiliar area and in distress. For those that are not aware, rapidly pressing the power button 5 times or more on Android devices is how you trigger emergency SOS. It will automatically dial an emergency service number. There is also extra dim which lowers the brightness of the display to an even lower luminance than what the brightness slider can give you. It can be useful for those of you that use their smartphones in pitch black darkness. Techno is the only smartphone maker I know that has a dedicated LED flash for the selfie camera. Everyone else just uses the smartphone's display as the fill light or flash for the selfie. So, to take advantage of this piece of hardware, they have introduced a 360 degree flashlight. In this mode, both the front and rear camera flashes will be activated. You still can only turn on the rear flash or the front flash independently depending on your needs. If you hate notifications disrupting your video binging experience, Techno has also added a video assistant mode that blocks any notifications from distracting you as you watch your favorite shows. You can choose which video playback apps you want to have this feature enabled. Social Turbo is quite an exciting WhatsApp assistant. Some of the features are gimmicky though, like the voice changer and video filters for WhatsApp voice and WhatsApp video calls. However, there are some really useful ones, like the sticker maker for custom WhatsApp stickers, peak mode that allows you to read messages without activating the double blue ticks, and also viewing deleted messages, and my personal favorite, a voice recorder that records WhatsApp voice calls. Techno also crammed a heap of stuff in their SMS app. You can send messages over the internet in the SMS apps, similar to iMessage on Apple devices. They are calling it HiMessage and it takes advantage of RCS, which is an enhanced SMS service that is looking to bring instant messaging and multimedia sharing to SMS. Of course, if it fails you to send your message due to a poor internet connection, it will switch to traditional SMS. It can also filter messages based on type. There is a section that's pinned at the top for notification messages where messages you cannot reply to are grouped together. These can be your banking or mobile money wallet messages, marketing messages from ISPs, 
public awareness messages from departments like the Ministry of Health or Civil Protection Unit and OTP codes from your online accounts or apps. All these are grouped into their own inbox that is separate from the inbox where you have your SMS conversations. Oh, and since the display is an OLED panel, you can also get always on display with surprisingly vast selections of AOD animations and a good number of them can also be customized to your liking. Cool, so let's talk performance. The Camon 20 is running decent hardware even though the CPU is now a bit dated. The one I have here has 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of internal storage and is running a MediaTek Helio G85 which is now 3 years old. In fact, Techno introduced this processor in the Camon 17P back in 2020. You can watch a review of that somewhere there. For general use, your messaging, calls, and very light gaming, it's flawless. Animations are smooth, apps open relatively quickly, and it can keep up. When you start pushing it, it has moments, very brief moments, when it stutters a little bit with the app opening animation or window transition animations. It does not affect how quickly the app opens though. If you manage to burn through the 8GB of RAM, there is a RAM expansion feature or memory fusion that can borrow up to 8 gigs of your internal storage and use it as RAM. There are three options for RAM expansion, 3GB, 5GB and 8GB with 5 gigs being the default selection. Oh and this one comes with a headphone jack as well as DTS audio enhancement for richer and fuller sound experience. When you have headphones or earphones plugged in, you also get access to an equalizer to further customize your audio experience to suit your ears or your set of cans. Battery performance is very good. The 5000 mAh battery lost 34% when we ran the 3 hour endurance test, making this an easy 2 day battery smartphone. It is just 10% behind the all time endurance champ, the POVA 2, which required a 7000 mAh battery to snatch that top spot. 2000 mAh more than the Camon 20. Charging tops out at 33 watts, however, the box will ship with an 18 watt charger. So, if you prefer much faster battery top ups, you will need to buy the 33 watt fast charger separately. The cameras are very good. It's got a 64 megapixel main camera and a 32 megapixel selfie camera. I was very pleased with the results. There is good detail in the images thanks to binning. The camera is combining the detail from four adjacent pixels into one, effectively producing 16 megapixel images from the 64 megapixel sensor. Dynamic range is also quite good. Some of the more challenging images with the sun in the background are very well exposed with reasonable detail in the shadows and darker areas of the images. What I did notice is that it cranks up the saturation in images. The blues, the greens and the reds are deeper and richer than in real life. It produces images that are quite pleasing to look at but it might give off a slightly inaccurate color. Something to think about if you're taking photos for color reference but that aside, the Camon 20 takes really good photos. At night, the Quad LED flash will do a decent job of illuminating what you're taking a photo of but the sensor struggles a bit with low light environments. As an overall package, it's a solid smartphone. The display is very good looking, the cameras do an excellent job in well lit environments, the battery life can take you comfortably past two days of moderate usage and it's one of the most unique and beautiful looking smartphones you can buy right now. At the time of filming I did not have the price but if I get it before this video is out you'll see it somewhere here. <laughs> like and subscribe.